guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Trash Pack Gross Zombies Zombie Catcher Vehicle. That's right, we already took a look at one of the brand new 12 packs featuring the Gross Zombies Trashies. And to fit right along with that, we've got ourselves a brand new vehicle in the Zombie Catcher. So we're going to check this bad boy out. As you can see, it comes in awesome open box packaging that fully shows the vehicle here. And we've got a lot of really great, bright, and colorful artwork all the way around there. We got the Zombie Catcher logo up here. And as you can see in the background, we got these great images of the zombified trashies kind of flying into the front of the sweeper and flying out the back. Because you'll notice there is a cool little action feature with this where we can sweep in the trashies and spit them out into the back. Very fun. I cannot wait to try this thing out. Also, two included zombie trashies come with this particular set. And when we flip this around to the back side there, we just get another look at the way that the cool little action feature works with loading the catcher, sweeping them in, and then we can also crash it so that all of the trashies can escape from the back. Incredibly cool. So let's go ahead and rip this open so we can take a look at the vehicle inside. All right, so we've got our zombie catcher outside of the packaging. Let's check this thing out. So first things first, we got those exclusive trashies. Of course, they got their own little casket capsules, just like we saw with the uh, 12 pack that we've already taken a look at there. So here's our cool little unique trashies that come with this set. Uh, they're both done in this really cool kind of glowing, eerie green color. Uh, not glow in the dark like the special ones we saw in that 12 pack. These things are hard to open sometimes. There we go. So we have a little stack of envelopes and our little uh, drink there. Uh, very cool. They got that same zombified look with the black eyes and the white pupils. Got that great kind of black wash on there that makes them nice and gritty looking. So those are our exclusive trashies that come with our street sweeper, which is a zombie catcher. So let's look at the vehicle here. Very cool looking vehicle. So first of all, here's the two halves. We got the little zombie catcher in the back. We got the little sweeper. And basically these will connect together. So the back half there, it's all just a solid purple plastic. You can see it's got some neat little sculpted details like the wires and the hoses and everything. Got the wheels on there too in the front. One larger one in the back. And this will just plug right into this little slot that's on the back of the zombie catching uh, street sweeper here. So take that, line it up. Get it locked into place just like that, and now we have our complete vehicle there. So that's what it looks like when it's all put together and it's ready to go. Now, before we play around with some of the action features, we need to take a closer look at this because this is a really fun vehicle. First of all, lots of great things going on, just like we've seen with a lot of the Trash Pack stuff. We do have some stickers. Uh, don't have to put those on. They're already on there. So we got the Trash Pack logo, and then just some fun things like some bugs crawling around all over it. Uh, neat little stuff like that. You can see we've got this creepy looking little snail guy up here in the front. Uh, one of the things I really like over here is this is like an eyeball. Just randomly, little eyeball in the front. Maybe it's like a painting on the side of it. But there's also some fun little things that are sculpted in that are unpainted. Like we got the little mouse that's kind of just hanging out right there above the wheel. Uh, you can notice that on the windshield, there's like a little bug splatter kind of sculpted in there. See that on there? Uh, on the side window, there's a crack with a band-aid covering it that's kind of fixing it. So really fun things going on there. Now. What's really cool is this is also made for your trashies to actually drive. They can actually drive this thing around. So the doors both open up on both sides there. So you can open up the doors, which is really cool. And you'll notice on the inside, we have some seats and there's little levers right there, a little steering wheel kind of worked in the sculpt. It doesn't really move. It's just in place. But those little seats have pegs that are perfect for the holes on the bottom of our trashies. So we can actually take our included trashies here. We can plug them in on the inside. We can shut the doors and check that out. Now they're driving the zombie sweeper. They're going to go catch a bunch of other trashies because why wouldn't they, huh? <laughs> but what's really fun is that there are these little pegs all over it. So I got some of my other little trashies here. Uh, we can stick them all over there. Look at that. They can pilot this thing. They can just ride on the top. Um, there's even like, look, there's a little one on the side. So we can cling them to the side there. So you could just completely cover this thing up with trashies if you want to. There's all those pegs there. One, two, three, four additional pegs sitting on the top of it, plus the two pegs on the seats. Look at that. We got our trashies riding all over it. Plus, we got this little bin right here. Look at that. We can set some more of our little trashies right there. Going for a ride. So look at that. We can 
fill this thing up with our trashies so that way it's ready to ride around and catch some of the other trashies. We can catch some zombie trashies. So, that action feature. We want to see how that works, right? So, we got these great little sweepers right here in the front. And those are activated just by the wheels. So when it rolls around, it makes those little sweepers move. That's how you're going to pick up your trashies to send them into the back, which traps them in the little zombie catcher back here. So, let's get some of our trashies down here. I'll line a couple little trashies up just so I can show you how this works. And then we take our vehicle just like this. We drive it along. Oh, so we definitely want to make sure they're facing forward. Good thing I tried that. There we go. Kind of runs them in there. It shoves them in the back. Drop that one there. You know what? It depends on their size. It seems some of them don't go as good as others. Doesn't help that. There we go. That one's squeezing in there. Boom. Right into the back. So see how that works? Very cool. So that's a good thing to know. When you turn them sideways, they don't really get swept up as easy in the sweepers. But as long as they're in a line, they're still going to go into the little back there. And you still got these little wheels. See, it rotates to this little part back here in the back. So it'll still squeeze them into the little back there so they fall into the actual catching part. Just demonstrate that again. There we go. Rotate the wheels. Boom. See how it falls in there? Uh, it would definitely work best on a hard surface. Um, my little photo tent here, it's a little soft, so you'll notice it was kind of catching. But now they're trapped back here in the back. And it talked about in the box how you can crash them to set them free. You got these two little bumpers right here on the front. When you press those, it triggers the release in the back. So if this thing were to crash, there you go. It sends the back off flying. It released our little zombies. They can run away. And then it's very easy just to put it back together just like this. Line it up, snap it into place, boom, just like that, and we're ready to go all over again. And then we can kind of run them over, we can send them back into the catcher there. Look at that, I just, boom, just caught two of them, just like that, very easy. Um, so it takes a little bit of practice, you just gotta line them up the right way. But yeah, get them on a nice flat surface, runs them over, sends them right into the back. Look at that, shoot that thing off there, and we free our trashies. This is an awesome vehicle. It's very fun. Uh, definitely ranks up there with some of the best things from this line, like the old garbage uh, truck that we saw way back at the beginning of the line. This is definitely a really fun one. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the Zombie Catcher, part of the new Halloween-specific trash pack lineup, the Gross Zombies. These are hitting store shelves right now. You can find them at places like Target. So happy hunting, my friends. And until next time.